If you love mathematics like me, then you're going to enjoy this video because in this video, I'm going to be sharing those top five African inventions that changed the world. So let's get into the video. What's up family, it's your boy Gani and this is the African Meat Show where we spread good vibes about Africa. We all about showing you great things about Africa. So if this is the kind of content that you always want to watch, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, turn that bell notification on as well so that whenever we have a new video out, we get you notified. And for you, my people that are subscribing, I'm so grateful for the love. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support that you're showing to the channel. We greatly appreciate, I really appreciate this. So in today's video, I have something great for you. I'm going to be sharing those top five inventions that drastically or went on and changed the entire world. Mathematics, writing and art. Looking back at African history, it clearly shows that in 3500 BC, Africans had already started calculating. So when you look at countries like Swaziland, uh, for example, in areas of the Libombo Mountains in Swaziland, they had actually already started calculating. So this later spread to areas like Egypt, where they actually were able to script these various calculations. They were able to come up with geometric formulas to be able to calculate area and volume of various shapes. So this had a very great influence in all the areas surrounding Africa. So it kept spreading to other parts of Europe, then to the USA and so many other parts. So you need to understand that this started from Africa. The other thing is writing and art. Africans in the early days were able to come up with great writings and art. And these can be evidently found in great museums around the world. And if you would like to actually see this, you would have to visit any of those museums. Medicine, you would need to understand that in early days of 2750 BC, Africans had already started finding their own medicines. And this was evident in countries like Egypt, where they had actually also started carrying out surgeries on human bodies. For example, they were able to set back broken bones and they were able to carry out caesarean sections in women. For example, if a woman needed to give birth and she couldn't, they were able to carry out a caesarean section on her. And then there were other things like maybe anesthesia. They were able to actually come up with various herbs to be able to treat their people. So uh, this is very evident from Africa. This went on to spread to other parts of the world architecture and engineering. This dates back to the 12th century where we had pyramids of Giza, that's in Egypt. So we had these, then when you look at other countries like Mozambique, then Zimbabwe, these guys had actually already started constructing castles. So you can imagine the kind of technology that these guys had. Then when you look at uh, countries like Mali, these guys had already developed cities because for example, in Mali, there's that city called Timbuktu. They already had buildings that were already there. So when you look back at all this, it clearly shows you that Africa had already gone ahead. So it was able to actually start this trend. And you should not be surprised today when you see the great pyramids or when you see the skyscrapers, you must be knowing or you must know where this all started. Metallurgy and tools. This dates back to the ancient days when our forefathers who were also blacksmiths, they actually had to find ways of survival. Basically what they had to do for them, let's say to cultivate their food or maybe to go hunting, they actually needed tools. So what they ended up doing was coming up with various tools that had to help them get this work done. So they began smelting various types of metal and then they were able to come up with real tools to actually help them do this. And then for some of these tools, in a way of survival, they had to actually come up with tools like maybe spears. These were basically to help protect them from external attacks, maybe from the neighboring communities. So 
this really shows you that Africa had already gone ahead and this kept spreading out to other parts of the world. So the countries that were majorly known for this was Uganda, there was Tanzania, and many areas around those countries. Lastly, but not the least, is international trade. It's very evident that international trade was first done between Africa and Asia. This was basically done so as to exchange ideas, cultural practices, and also some physical goods. Of course, there was no exchange of money, but basically what they did was majorly having a better kind of trade. So for example, if uh, let's say maybe one had a goat, he or she would exchange it for maybe a bag of salt somewhere. And this kept spreading out to other parts of the world. So you need to understand that this all started from Africa. And don't be surprised today that we have the cryptocurrency that enables people transfer funds from all around the world. So you need to understand that this all started from Africa. Well, you saw them all. Those are the top five African inventions that changed the world. So in case you found this very informative, please go ahead, leave a like on this video. Also remember to subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever we have a new video out, we get you notified. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you family. I'll be catching you in the next video.